try to fix this hair, but it's not working, guys. I dyed my hair. And so this is what happens when you don't rinse out the dye completely. Um, I mean, those of you who dye your hair know the first and second day, it looks like you have crazy scalp. Anyway, hi guys. So it's Sam. I'm Sam. Hi. Uh, this is going to be a product updates video. And the reason I'm laughing is because I've tried to film this about... I don't know, I want to say 40 times, and that is not an exaggeration. So hopefully this is, this will be the one. Uh, and I did change my room setup a little bit. I'm wearing this cool necklace from J. Crew, and I'm feeling good. So let's get started. It's, it's been a while, so there's going to be a lot of products to discuss. Um, in the process of trying to film this, this has gotten emptier because I keep on pulling stuff out and then I stop filming. Uh, but this is the basket that once I open up product, I keep it in here to remind me to use some things I have hauled, some things I haven't. So let's just, let's get started. The first thing is this Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm. And I had heard about this a couple of months ago here on YouTube and people were using it as a primer and I was pretty intrigued. So I tried it and I really like it. It's, um, I like the packaging. It's a like kind of like a glass, not, it's not glass. It's really hard plastic or maybe it is glass. You know what? I, I'm not sure, uh, but I love the packaging, the fragrance, it's a manly fragrance, but I mean, it's a men's product, so what do you expect from a men's product? I like it. I, I find that while it, there is a scent, it's not overwhelming, and it's really nice, and um, as far as product goes, it works really well longevity-wise. If you're looking for a product that fills in the pores, this doesn't do it as much, so I like to use this kind of like all over my face, and then we'll go into the T-zone, which, which is... Uh, where my pores stand out the most, but the spout is pretty large. I wish it was a little bit smaller, and it comes out really fast, so you have to pour it very slow. Um, it's a pretty liquidy product, uh, so be careful when you pour it out. But I do like this, and I would recommend it. It's just so interesting um, what what you can use. Um, it's marketed for something, but you can use it for something else. So that's a pretty cool product. Then here is the NYX Pore Filler. I got this in hopes of it being the, the product that will make my pores look smaller. It works okay. It's not my favorite. And um, it looks like this. Sorry, such a small sample, but uh, um, it's kind of hard to come out, but it's a silicone base. It's one of, one of those types of primers and I really only use it for here, and I don't love it, so I probably wouldn't get it again. I actually, I wouldn't get it again. Uh, next is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Plus Keratin Spray, and I really like this. I haven't always had a hit with this brand, but this product I like. It, I spray it in my hair after I towel dry my hair, and it makes my hair feel really soft and more manageable, which is something that I aim for. Um, and I just really like it. It's cool that it's a spray so I could just I lift up half my hair and I spray it and then you know uh, What is what am, I, what am I trying to say I I Mess it up with my hands or I massage it in with my hands. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be a crazy video uh, Next is the reactivate by beauty blender spray. I still don't understand this product. Please someone explain it to me I've used it a couple of times and I'm just not in love with it. I love the beauty blender, so uh, let me know how you guys use it if you like it. Uh, next is the Toka Rollerball, and I love this brand. I, I'm i thinking of investing in like a bigger, like a legit perfume bottle. These are just so feminine and pretty and gentle, but there's they, they smell... Uh, they have a floral citrus kind of scent to them, but then there's also a deeper, more, um, not masculine, but just something more rich in them. And the one that I loved, oh, sorry. So this is a Florentine one, a Florence one, and then this is the Giulietta one. And this one I love. It has a citrus scent, uh, slash there's amber in there so it's a little bit of a mixture of both but none of it is overpowering and just nice friendly pleasant scents i really like these i got these at anthropology and would really recommend they have 
Um, and this type they have, and I think it goes, it extends to the perfumes as well. So they have about six, um, and there's, I'm sure there's something that everyone will find to like. Does that sentence make sense? Okay. Uh, next is the 500 point perk. There were, I think there was one more, uh, the argan oil. Um, so this is the 500 point perk from Sephora a while back, and I've never tried Josie Marin, so I thought this would be a good... Uh, one to try out and these are the two cosmetic ones. This is the Argan This is the Josie Marin Argan Infinity Lip and Cheek Creamy Oil. Haven't really used this so I can't talk about it that much um, I can't talk about it at all actually because I have I don't think I've used it maybe once. Uh, this is the Josie Marin Whoa <laughs> Almost dropped my basket here. Uh, this is a highlighter, basically, um, and it looks like this. It's really cute packaging. I really like this packaging, but I am not that impressed with the highlighter. It's a very uh, light highlighter. There's really no... I used it in the inner corner, so it's okay for that. I'm not in love with it, so um, so far a bummer, but I really like this uh, Pure Argon Milk Intensive Hydrating Treatment. This is really nice, and then I don't have it, I put it in my empties, but the, just the Pure Argon Oil, I like that. What I did with that was I mixed it in with my moisturizer, my body moisturizer, and I felt like my skin got much softer. And there's another thing that I don't have here to show you, which really stinks. It's in my empties as well, but it's the L'Occitane, uh, L'Occitane almond oil for the body the body oil that stuff is fantastic and i would definitely repurchase a bigger size of that i'm sorry i don't have it to show you but it was a kind of like a very small not small very small but it was a, a sample size from a kit that i got for christmas which some of you might remember okay now let's move on to mascara so i finally tried the super sizer waterproof mascara um by CoverGirl. And here is the wand. I was so bummed. I did not love this product. I'm going to continue to use it. I used it on the lower lash line, but it, uh, I don't know. I feel like the bristles, I don't know if you could see, they're really small. So I feel like it's it doesn't work well um, creating... It does good job separating, but I don't. I just feel like since the bristles are so small, the product just stays uh, clumpy. And I know people love it, but I just don't love it, and that's kind of a bummer. So I will keep on using it. Another mascara that I have is the Pacifica Natural Minerals Aquarian Gaze Water Resistant Long Lash Mineral Mascara. Is it me or like our makeup products getting like really long with their names? But this is what it looks like. Love the packaging. Um, and this has kind of a triangle shape. Not sorry, not triangle. Um, it has an oval kind of shape brush, I guess. But I love this. I didn't realize this was blue. It's the color deep. I have that on my um, lashes with the Super Sizer mascara. Um, I don't know why I put this on and then covered it up. But this creates it's gives your eyes a different look than just the black mascara i love black mascara uh but it gives a really nice look to the eyes and i would really look into more of these i like this i like that it's natural i feel like my eyelashes especially this eye if you could tell the difference from this eye to that eye um i'm losing lashes so it kind of I like thinking of going into the natural direction with my mascara, so I really like this and would recommend this. I, I like that mascara a lot. And the blue is a little bit different. Okay, next is a bunch of lip products. These are the Burt's Bees lipsticks. I have three colors here. Um, I just I wanted to get the range of lipsticks, uh, choose different color from each, and I really like these. I think these are moisturizing. They last pretty well, and they're just really nice lipsticks, so I would recommend these. And let me just swatch. I guess swatch the darkest one because they don't have a really dark one, but this one is pretty nice. So that's the darkest one you're going to get. And then um, they have several, I think it was at least 12 different ones. Very moisturizing, shiny, and really nice for a lipstick. And then I have a bunch of the NYX soft matte lip creams 
I just, I had gotten one in the color Milan a long time ago, did not like it. Um, but then I just rediscovered it again. I think I heard someone talking about it and saying they loved it. So I was like, you know, let me give it another chance. So I got these colors. I've always wanted Transvania, which is the darkest color that they have. And I love this color. I think it's fantastic. It's pretty dark. Uh, the only thing with these is that it's hard to apply because this is the the applicator. And if you're applying a matte product, you don't want to, I don't know, I just feel like this, it makes it extra hard to apply. And you kind of want, uh, you don't want to look like you did your lips in the dark. So that's kind of sometimes what I struggle with. And I love the color. Uh, the staying power is okay, um, but the wearing off is terrible. You definitely get a ring around your face, so uh, you want to bring a mirror with you when you apply these so that you can fix it up because I've had some moments where I look in the mirror after I ate or something and I'm like, oh my god, what happened there? Uh, another Burt's Bees product that I am loving is these are the lip shimmers. And I had the one in Cherry, and I wanted to get, I think I had mentioned in my haul video when I got these, I wanted the color Raisin, ra Raisin something, but they didn't have it, uh, so I'm still looking for that one. But these are just really nice. Uh, let me show you Rhubarb. There's a shimmer too. Oh, and when you twist it up, just make sure that that's the amount that you want because you can't twist them back down. So there's a little bit of shimmer. There's definitely shine and just a really nice color, nice lip product. Burt's Bees hitting it out of the park for me. Um, next, we have the Milani Lipstick in Pretty Natural. And I am in love with this color. I have it on right now. And it's just a really pretty pink lipstick. I feel like there's shine and the color is nice. It is it is on the nudie side, but I feel like it doesn't wash you out. It's just a beautiful beautiful pink lipstick so I am in love with that color every time I wear it I'm like yes I love it and I would get more of these Milani lipsticks I've been enjoying um the couple that I have then we have uh the wet and wild color icon brow pencil I don't like this product I probably wouldn't I wouldn't get it again it's not a bad color um but i feel like when i put it on my eye it's very emollient and hard to work with and i kind of like a drier formula i guess when i put in in terms of an eye pencil just because it's a little bit easier uh looks it's not as hard to use i feel like when it's really really emollient it's just too hard it moves around and I wouldn't get that again. Uh, here is the color tattoo, Maybelline color tattoo in inked and pink. And I'm wearing that. I have uh, something else on top of it. This is really nice. I don't know why I overlooked this color. I probably thought, ooh, frosty pink color. Uh, but this is just, you put that on top and you put that on your lids. And for me, I have really oily lids and it does really well on them. I've said this before about the color tattoos. They're just fantastic. You could wear them alone. You could put stuff on top of them and it works very well as a primer for me. So there's that uh, color tattoo inked in pink. And then I like to put stuff on top of it. And then um, the eyeshadow, another eyeshadow palette from Wet n Wild, Petal Pusher. I like to put the inked in pink and these to get this together, which I did. I put the eyelid color on top of my eyelid. And sorry, that's the eyelid color. And I'm not going to go on too much about the Wet n Wild eyeshadows. They're fantastic. And I hadn't gotten that one. And I finally purchased it and I really like it. Okay, then... A lot of face products here so let me talk about the Becca highlighter I like this product but I feel like it's um, I don't know if I would get it again it's very it's beautiful and I know people love it I'm wearing it on my face today I, it's gorgeous I don't know if I would get it again though but I don't know if that's because of my nature that I want to try new things but again, it's beautiful. It's the, I like the more of the goldy highlighter and that's what this is. And it just, it's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Uh, next is two blushes from NYX. And this is, I have the one in Amber and I'm wearing the one in Electro. And these, are, I love the packaging first of all. There's bows on them. 
these are really nice. I would definitely get more of these blushes. They are super pigmented. When I put Electro on, oh my goodness, I was like, whoa, clown face. So you have to be careful, but the color is beautiful. And this one, I like this one. This is a great everyday blush. So really like these. Uh, then here is the True Match. I got a bunch of contouring stuff to talk about. So this is the L'Oreal True Match powder. I got the darkest one. This is C8, and I love this for contouring. I think it's, a first off, it's a really nice product. I love the uh, True Match line, but this is a really nice contour, and I use that several times. Then we have uh, the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. I use this side, I use this highlighter under my eye on this eye, and then I use, let me just talk about this real quick, this is NYX HD Finishing Powder in Banana, and I use this one on this side, and I have to say this one is a bit finer, uh, but both work really well under the eye, and then as far as this contouring, it's a good contour they're very very soft it's a bit orange so watch out for that but so far so good I like this um, I like the original one better that's the caramel toffee uh, then here is the L'Oreal Valuable Pro Contour this is what I'm wearing just the contour side and I really like this contour I think it's one of the better ones out in the market and I would highly recommend I don't care too much for the highlighter um, so I wish, I hopefully in the future they just come out with just the contour side. It's really good. And the very last product I will be showing you is the NARS and Steven Klein collaboration. This is one shocking moment and I am so glad that I got this palette at, during the Sephora VIB sale. It's an amazing palette. You get, these are all super pigmented products. You get four blushes. They are Robotic, Blasphemy, Luster, Dolce Vita. Then you get this kind of, I would call it a highlighting and contour duo. Uh, they're both matte and then you get the Laguna bronzer. Kind of wish that they put something else in here because I already have the Laguna bronzer, but you can't get it all, so that's okay. Just really like this palette and if you can get your hands on it, I'm not sure if it's part of the, I don't think it's part of the permanent line, but if you get your hands on it, it's a really great palette, especially if you want to try out NARS. I had a couple of blushes, but I didn't have any of these and I just, this is a great, face palette. I feel like I could travel with this and I wouldn't need a powder. This kind of pass as a powder. Not for everyone, but kind of can for me and the packaging is really cool. So love this. Okay, so that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I was really scatterbrained, but when you film something so many times and you just can't get it out, you're just like the last take. You're just like, just go for it. Whatever comes out will come out and this is the aftermath. So I'm sorry that I was all over the place, but what can you do? So I hope you guys are all doing well, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.